Hello, and today is our second post-procedure day after our hair transplant yesterday. Yes, so what did I do? Five things. But first, let me show you. So today is December 24th, and it's already 2.48 p.m. here in Washington, D.C. So first thing, right after your surgery, you cannot carry heavy stuff i'm actually very lucky that my act that my friend was actually there to help me carry my stuff so miss Catherine, thank you again second oh my gosh make sure that you actually have motrin yes so i had to take motrin every six hours and this is 200 milligrams and i take at least three of it and then after that of course where they actually did the suture or where the suture is that's actually where they cut like the donor area i'm not sure if you can actually see it from here that's the reason why they actually put me on a ponytail what you have to do is um you need to put ice on it so what i actually did was this is like a bottled water i basically filled half of it with water i put it in the freezer just so that this will not be too cold and that's actually what i use um right under the suture and you can also put it right on the suture area as well exactly and then if you actually can see this side of my face is like more swollen compared to this side but that's okay it's part of it and then i also have this h2 ocean spray that i actually can uh, use on the second day and then after that um when i slept this is actually like what i use they actually gave me this and you need to sleep at a 45 degree angle thank goodness i was able to sleep last night and if you don't have a lazy boy chair like me i don't have one what i did was i just stacked up my pillows and then of course you put this right here on your neck and then you just had to like uh, lay down at a 45 degree angle just so that hopefully you will not you know turn your head on either sideways and because you really would like to protect that for the next three to five days especially for the first three days i think that's like the critical time so there you ho there you go i mean like um um this one is a little bit painful sometimes but it's bearable when you take your motrin but overall i'm really happy with what i did um hopefully um i can actually have good results in the next few months but i'll keep you posted in the next five days so we can really have like a week process and then after that i'll be actually going back with you guys like every month and every three six and six months and a year as well so again let me show you so this is how it looks like on the second day so this is this side and then now i'm gonna go on my right side and then this is the front side and then this is the top side and this is the back hopefully you get to see that as well so again, there you have it for our second day post-procedure of our hair transplant surgery. And again, this is Alicat Castle. Thank you so much for, for being here on Transfers TV. If you'd like to see more of our hair transplant journey, hope you can consider subscribing as well. And if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please write them down in the comment, comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer it for you. Love you!